and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am doing a remake of my Berry Glow bars. Uh, that's a goat milk, goat milk berry glow. And the reason I add the glow in there is because the key ingredients are um, this activated charcoal, which is really good for your skin. It's a toxin puller, it's um, it's refreshing, it's just, it's great. I do some research and look up activated charcoal topically. It's good stuff. Um, and then also, which is wonderful, and this is the glow, is uh, this red reef, Australian red reef clay. What a beautiful color this is. So it's not only gorgeous, but it's really good for your skin. And um, one of the benefits, they said it adds sort of a glowy, youthful uh, look. It's very high in iron oxide, which is great for your skin. Um, so super good. Uh, the goat milk, we all know that's wonderful too. So just a great combination. The berry comes in with my fragrance. I'm gonna be using berry vanilla from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supply Plus. Um, and you'll see I have writing on here. When I get a fragrance oil, this is a tip, um, Nurture Soap is wonderful. They put on their labels, whether it does acceleration or discoloration, um, they, it's already on the label. Well, Wholesale Supply Plus doesn't do that. So I just write little bullet notes, like it's gonna discolor to yellow or tan, or um, it causes separation. If there's something that I need to be mindful of, I just jot it down when I get my fragrant oils in. So that's just a tip that helps me remember what I'm dealing with. So the yellow is not bad because these are very dark colors. So um, I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all. Uh, what I'd like to do is do some piping rosettes, just change it up. I did sort of a scoop swoop top on the last berry glow, which I love, but I've been doing that a lot lately. So I have um, two piping tips here that uh, if the batter's behaving well, I'd like to pipe some rosettes and stars and just make it real pretty on top. Uh, if things are moving along fast, I'll just do the scoopy top and that'll be great too. <laughs> um, I'll be using my mulberry silk that I got a sample from Epic Stargazer sent this to me. So I'm working my way through this. I'm loving it. It melts just as fast or faster than Tussa Silk Fiber. It, I've been very pleased with this. It's been great to try something new. So uh, again, thank you Cheryl at Stargazers for uh, sending me that. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna get my goat milk solution going, get everything pulled together, and we'll make some berry glow bars. All right, I've got all of my oils and butters melted and cooled. I have my organic colloidal oats, kale and clay, and the berry vanilla fragrance is in here. Um, and here I have my wonderful goat milk lye solution that has um, farm fresh goat milk that I freeze in cubes. It has mulberry silk fibers and some sodium lactate, and it turns this wonderful golden yellow color, um, which is okay. This fragrance actually says that it discolors to a light yellow, but we're gonna be using those wonderful uh, charcoal and that red reef clay, so the colors are gonna be dark, so even if it does get a little yellowy, we're gonna be okay. I have this strainer in here because I did put um, organic cane sugar in here and I want to make sure that if it didn't get all dissolved that I'll catch any little bits that maybe didn't dissolve I just don't want you know any chunkage in <laughs> in my soap I want a smooth soap uh, my berry rhubarb had some I think it was a combination of um, undissolved sugars and some scorched goat milk bits but it had spots and it was fine it looked okay but um, it's not my preference. I would like to not have that. So let's let this run through here gently and keep out anything that didn't dissolve in there. Um, because I'm working with the silk fiber, or sorry, with the frozen goat milk, not everything dissolves and because uh, it doesn't get that hot because it's icy. So that's why I just like to be careful with this. Let me get Pull this over, get this out of here, and we'll get moving. All right, we're just gonna hand stir this to get emulsion, and then I'm gonna split off for, um, for my activated charcoal base, and then we'll do the berry swirl on top. There we go, or not berry swirl, sorry. The, um, Australian Red Reef Clay. It will represent our berry color and also the glow. 
I really do encourage you, if you're a soaper, um, just look up some of the skin benefits of uh, just the additives. It's really cool. Uh, of course, according to the FDA, I can only say that this is a soap that will make you clean. It'll bubble up, it'll get you clean in the shower, and that is for sure, but I'm not making any health claims, but it's just fun to do research on all the additives and ingredients. Um, so, there you go. I'm gonna pour off some for the base here and we'll get it blended up nice. Good trace, and then I'll pour off a little in my piping bag, which I've got my piping tips and bags all ready to go. So, let's do our activated charcoal. Messy, but wonderful. So worth the mess. There we go. And I'm just gonna start by whisking this in, making sure everything's behaving. Then we'll pull out the uh, Deploy the Stick Blender. Now, stick blend. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pour off a little in here in my um, piping bag. There we go, and we'll just let that sit off to the side while we get moving on. Okay, let's get a nice wonderful charcoal layer poured down. Alright, I'm gonna let that sit while we come over here. Let's come over here and split off for our red reef clay and then our uncolored portion here. This is so gorgeous. Doesn't take much either. It's a good, strong color. Get that over there and I will go ahead and just pop my stick blender in here and give it a quick buzz. little spoon texturing just so it has some little dollops in it when you when I pour the top on I think it just adds a little fun to the bar
All right, it's been 24 hours and I forgot to film unmolding it, but I did steam the top, so look how nice and shiny that is. It's dry to the touch. Um, after I did the piping, the red was really loose and I tapped it down on the ground and so my red just collapsed, but I think it's still really pretty and um, let's get into this and see how it looks on the inside. here and see how the insides came out. That Australian red reef clay is very dark. It's a it's a good strong color. It's so good for your skin. It's wonderful, but a little goes a long way. <laughs> 